Hello everybody and welcome back to another video a Tech Blitz review. Um and today in this video, obviously as you can see here, um I'm going to be doing a review. Hopefully I got some good light on this of the Acer uh Predator. As you can see there, Acer Predator X 27 4K 144 Hertz G Sync Ultimate HDR 1000. Okay, now in this video, guys, I'm gonna be going over a couple key areas on my experience with this monitor and how it works with my setup. Now, be advised, guys, this is the newest model that they have out. It is currently May 2020, previous months, previous years, models. May not be the same experience that you see here because they have made several revisions to this. In the link of the description below, you guys will find the link to this exact model of monitor. If you guys are interested or want to check out the monitor for yourself, or thinking of buying the monitor check out the link below and let's get into it i had this monitor i think about a day and a half now okay and i've been doing a little bit of gaming on it i've done a little bit of video editing on it and i am going to say that despite what some of the older reviews from previous years or i think it came out in 2018 might have to say about this monitor i'm gonna give it a pretty positive one so if that interests you guys Stick with us. Key area number one that I'm going to go over is the bell quality. So this is the setup I've got right here. I got everything set up. PC 2080 Ti in there. I'm going to go ahead and show the bell quality of this. So right off the bat, you'll notice that what stands out is it has these sort of wings on it. They're fairly sturdy. Okay. What they are is light shields. Okay, you go on either side, and there's one for the top. It just sits on top, across, and then there's little channels that will sit on these wing grooves. Okay, it's optional to put that on. It's optional to put these on. And if it comes pre-installed for whatever reason for you guys, there are just little screws um, here and at the bottom. You just unscrew them. There's two holes. It comes right off and fits on. You know, and you can move it around, adjust it how you want. They're fairly solid, okay? They're pretty good quality. The fuzz on the inside is a little bit underachieving. I feel like it's gonna rip off and start peeling, but as long as you're careful with it, it shouldn't really be an issue. Um, this is an IPS panel, so the light kind of affects the way that it will show image, but that's okay. Comes with a couple stickers on it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the back mounting arm. It comes pre-installed on it. That's what it looks like, okay? So it has a little handle here if you wanna carry it around. Um, the monitor goes up. I don't know how well I can get this. I apologize for this being on the phone, guys goes up, down, and it tilts back and forth. Okay, there's the stand, and I'll tell you what, I'm very surprised with this stand because you can put a lot of pressure on this and a lot of weight on this, and this stand here keeps this monitor really solid. Like, you can eat, like, see how my table is here? Even if I wiggle my table around, the monitor doesn't really shift too much because it's got pretty good, uh distribution of the weight with these two arms here. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now obviously I'm thinking one of the biggest things you guys are wondering or are here for is the fan that is on the back of this. Okay. There is a fan right there. You can see it. There's little grooves cut out for air for the fan to get air movement through. Now 
A lot of people that have made previous reviews say that this fan is extremely loud. Hear me out, guys. It doesn't make any noise, okay, in this newest revision. The model that I have here doesn't make any noise. And I am going to show you just what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to power it on. Okay, so it does have a little haloing effect around like certain bright areas of the screen. Like when the screen goes blank and it has real bright areas and on top of a dark overlay, you will see a bit of ghosting. As you can see here, around like the desktop icons, when you have a black space, you can see how it's real ghost-like effect. It's not really, see there, real bad right there, that real halo-y effect around white spaces over dark area. It's not terribly annoying, but it is a downside of the monitor. As you can guess here, my fans on my PC are running at yay volume. Right? You hear it? Now, listen to the fan on this monitor. I'm going to put the speaker right next to it. phone I am using to record is literally right on top of the fan used on the back of this monitor. I don't think I can hear anything. Can you guys hear anything in any noise coming from the fan at all? Let me know in the comment section. I would like to know. I can't tell if this phone is picking up any noise, but it's not to my ears. I did, however, Put this box fan behind the monitor preemptively to getting the monitor because I heard the fan was loud and it looks like I'm gonna have to remove it because it doesn't need it. Um, I've been gaming on it for hours at a time yesterday and I did not notice. Maybe I'm, I'm guessing guys that it's just the newer model they must have really made some improvements to the fan and the loudness of it but as far as I'm concerned guys fan noise is no longer an issue with this model of monitor so now you're wondering uh, image quality okay resolution will support up to 4k okay that's a given it will also support up to as you can see here, 144 hertz. In that mode, the only downside or the only compromise you guys will have to make is you have to use Y, I think it's YRGB, YCRGB uh, 422 instead of YCRGB 444 or Adobe RGB. You can't use that. You have to use YCRGB. 422 which is the ratio of colors in other words what they call it is chroma subsampling and that just kind of affects the way the text looks on your desktop and things of that nature as you can see I am on the overclocked 144 hertz mode and I'm not really seeing anything wrong with the text guys to be honest some people say there's a difference. I don't see it. But if you go to if you go to the mode where you are not overclocked, that is default to 120 hertz, and you will get the full RGB color space. Now, all the while, you can enable HDR. Whether you're on 444 hertz, 120 hertz, whatever you want, you can enable HDR on any mode in the monitor. However, if you go to 120 hertz, you're still going to be on 8 bit with 10 2 bit dithering, which is pretty much equal to 10 bit. And if you guys 
want full 10-bit HDR with no compromise to Kerma subsampling, then you have to drop to the 98Hz mode, which if that's your preference, by all means, go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the on-screen display that I have. Now if you have HDR enabled, most of these settings are blocked out. These are the settings that I used. If you guys need any help figuring out what is best for you in some of these settings, let me know if I don't cover it. Some of these will be blocked out if you have HDR enabled. If you have SDR enabled, as you can see, these other options will be open. So you have a blue light filter, backlight response, and auto black level. I just leave that off. I leave this one on gaming, and then I go to color. Um, if you're using YCB CR sRGB, then you can go ahead and turn these numbers on. Here's your color temperature. You can set that to whatever you like. Volume. Okay, so here in the gaming tab is where you can set overdrive, which is the response time of the monitor. You can set that to normal, low, or overclocked. And then here is the overclock for the refresh rate. Mine's on 144 hertz because I see literally no difference in quality of the colors or the chroma subsampling. And you still get the 144 hertz with compromises that to me seem negligible. To you, if you notice a problem with chroma subsampling in some cases, if you turn overclock off, you'll get the full Adobe RGB. 444 sampling if that's what you wish and if you want to go to full 10 bit then you have to set your monitor to 98 Hertz which you can do if you want and in OSD you have your language timeout transparency refresh rate will show the number in the top corner like I had in mind do not flip on the OSD lock if that happens to you by accident to fix it you will just want to power the monitor off power the monitor back on and then hold the power or hold the menu button which is this little toggle piece here for the menu hold it in for 10 seconds and then the monitor should unlock and finally we have system where you can set display port ambient light the ambient light is the small light underneath of the monitor here you can adjust the color and the, and the rate at which it displays. Uh, you should probably have deep sleep on because it will turn the fan off when you have the monitor off. If you turn these off, then the fan should run while your TV is off, which I don't really recommend. And if you're having a loud fan on an older model or something, maybe, then turn it on. If not, it doesn't really matter that much, but it will save you a little bit of power and uh, headache if you turn deep sleep on. And quick start mode, it just helps it load up quicker. And uh, that's it, guys. That is it for the on screen display. Okay, and before I make my final conclusion on this monitor, I'm just going to go ahead and launch up Destiny 2. Alright, guys. As you can see, the brightness is really good. The image quality is not bad. Is this 4K maximum? Okay, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and load into a game real quick. Show you some of the monitor's effects. See how you get a little bit of shadowing around white spaces on dark. But, once you get into the image, it doesn't really look too bad. Um, like I said, you can't even really hardly tell there's any chroma subsampling. So that's the mode I'm going to use is the 144 hertz 4K. And I think that about wraps up the video, guys. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything that I missed or anything that you guys are feeling that you need explained better or anything like that. Feel free to leave me a comment. 
Um, again, if you guys are interested in checking out the monitor or purchasing the monitor for yourself, go ahead and look at the link in my description. It will link you to this exact model where I have a super quiet fan and all of that stuff. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.